Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been two months since I last posted and I don't have a good excuse other than the fact that I have just been dealing with college and just have not had a lot of time to read or to post videos. But I did get one book read in the past two months and I'm gonna talk about that. A few days ago, I finished Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Uh, this book is about a brother and sister who have an absentee mother who has sort of left them, gone to live with her boyfriend and their family, um, but still lives under the premise that she lives there even though she's pretty much abandoned them. And um, the girl is 16 and the boy is 17. And then they turn 17 and 18 in the book. Um, and they take care of their three little siblings. Uh, what happens is they end up falling in love with each other. So it is a book about incest. And this is, it's just a really weird book. I don't think I've read anything like it. Like the love story is kind of like I've read before, but the fact that they're brother and sister and the challenges they have to deal with because of that it's just very strange and you kind of go back and forth between feeling for the characters but also not really being okay with the incest part of it um and then there's just I'm not going to give any spoilers but there's just some very sad moments in the book and I read some reviews and some people cried. I didn't cry. I don't usually cry at books, but um, I felt like it was very sad. Um, so yeah, this isn't much of a review, but I would say if you're not totally creeped out by incest and willing to read something kind of uh, off the cuff, a little weird, I would be, you know, and if you're not too sensitive to, um, really, what's the word? If you're not too sensitive to really deep hardships, um, I would say give this book a chance. Um, so, yeah. And I also have a very small book haul for you from the library. I have The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. Um, I've been, I saw this movie when I was younger and I have been wanting to read this book for a very long time. I actually just realized that I own it because I got it from a charity shop and I just looked down at my pile of charity shop books. I'm like, oh, I actually own this book. So I didn't need to get it from the library, but I have it anyway. So <laughs> the other book I picked up was Scythe or Sith uh, by Neil Shuster. Man. Uh, this book, uh, just a quick synopsis as I understand it, is about a world where we have conquered death. There is no death, there's no disease or murder or anything like that. So there are these individuals called Scythes or Siths that have the obligation to kill people. Um, I'm not really sure if it's a certain time that they kill them or how that works, but anyway, um, that's what this book is about. Sounds pretty cool. So I will hopefully be getting to this soon. And then I have this book, which is not from the library. I picked this up at uh, Barnes & Noble for a very discounted price. I think I got this for like $4, and it's a hardback and really beautiful. And this is called The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. And this book, I believe, is about these people or humanoids called Diabolics who are created, I assume they're created, I'm not really sure how that works, to protect humans. Um, and this is, I believe, from the perspective of a Diabolic. So it sounds pretty cool. The cover is pretty awesome. So looking forward to reading this science fiction-y fantasy book. And just a general update with me and my schooling. I have about three weeks of school left and I have finals and those are kind of pressuring me but I'm kind of like 
gliding through that like I'm I'm doing okay it's the pressure is not too much and I kind of have got this feeling like I want to get back into reading so I have the entire summer off after the semester I'm not taking any summer classes so I am excited to get a lot of reading done because I went pretty much two months reading nothing uh, except textbooks so that kind of sucks Anyway, uh, so that's pretty much my video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I've been gone so long, but I am back, hopefully. <laughs> uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.